manufacturers surely have dreams about their closest competitors pulling out of a vehicle segment, leaving them to take all the riches. Yet that's exactly what happened for the BMW 5 Series Touring in Australia. Audi abandoned the A6 Avon in 2015, and Mercedes-Benz chose to ignore its latest generation heat class estate released globally in 2017. Everyone wants a luxury SUV these days, of course, and BMW's German rivals both made their decisions based on lackluster sales, though, along with Volvo and its V90 Cross Country, Audi and Benz did opt for a high-riding crossover variant. Only Jaguar has spoiled the 5 Touring's complete exclusivity with the XF Sport brake that is now available for order. BMW Australia says a passionate group of Touring fans among its customer base means they wouldn't dare consider dropping it, even if it accounts for less than 10% of 5 Series sales. Will that ratio improve now BMW has made an MY18 pricing change? The company has removed the Touring's previous premium of several thousand dollars so that the 2520D and 530i variants cost exactly the same as their sedan equivalents, $95,200 and $110,500. The 520D Touring is still about $5,000 dearer than its predecessor, however, albeit now laden with more features. There's no 540i variant to follow the 535i Touring offered in the last generation. While the niching of the model again means there's no X-Drive all-wheel drive alternative to the standard rear drive. As expected, the 520D is the more frugal choice, 4.9 liters slash 100 kilometers v6.5 liters slash 100 kilometers, while the 530i is the quicker option, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.5 seconds v7.8 seconds. The 530i receives extra equipment, including an M Sport package. Optional on 520D, pulling M Aerodynamics body kit, M leather steering wheel, M sport brakes, chrome tailpipes, aluminium satinated exterior trim, and anthracite roof lining. Comparing a 530i sedan and wagon, the differences are both a case of 6.2 v 6.5 whether you're looking at liters per 100 km used or seconds taken to reach 100 km per hour from standstill. Of course, the reason a buyer chooses a 530i Touring over a 530i sedan is cargo space. And here the wagon's 570 liters boot, up 10 liters on its predecessor, again offers a 40 liters advantage before extending the gap further with an enormous 1,700 liters when the 402040 rear seats are folded. As a note of comparison, they're virtually identical figures to the XF Sport Brake, 565 liters slash 1,700 liters. The well-sized boot is complemented by thick elasticated side straps, flip-out hooks, low rails, underfloor compartments, and ski port. For added convenience, there are many seat release levers and an electrically operated tailgate with hands-free opening function. The Touring continues its clever tailgate window that opens separately so you can toss items into the boot, or grab them quicker. Otherwise, the fifth-generation wagon's interior is familiar from the gorgeous superbly crafted cabin we've come to appreciate in the latest, 7th generation, 5 series that debuted locally in March 2017. A truly rich interior experience is created by the supple, diamond patterned upholstery, large chunks of genuine wood, soft kick panels, smooth black leather on the upper dash and doors, and the gloss black applied to areas such as the center stack and center console.